this project is, just to give you a, a bit of background about what we're doing, and you're probably wondering what these guys are doing behind here, is um, we're, we're in the middle of a research project at the moment where we're, we're visiting uh, different schools in South Wales, really just trying to, to help break down the barriers between school and higher education. I've seen that the Beacons for Public Engagement uh, put out a grant proposal and one of the things that I feel really strongly about in higher education is that it's not an elitist um, system. I think it's quite easy um, with a building such as we have at the atrium, uh, we're, we've been able to put the UCAS tariff up and it would be quite easy to lose touch with the local community. So my, ma my main reason was to, was to get in touch with um, the schools in and around South Wales and just give them an opportunity to actually come into a space like the atrium, meet the staff, meet the students, look at the facilities and, you, and, and generally use it as a, as a point of aspiration. Hopefully the kids who've left will, um, will leave thinking, I want to go there in four years' time. Who plays guitar? Ooh, I think I was expecting something mm -hmm. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Putting together a Saturday morning school, you need to understand what uh, the children who are going to be on the course, what they can do, where they come from, what their strengths and weaknesses are, what they're interested in. You need to have an understanding of that before you can even think about putting on a Saturday morning school. Um, I want to learn like techno stuff with recording. like. Because other guys in my band, they know all about it. And when they're talking about all these, like, all this sort of music jargon, I have no idea what they're talking about. So I want to learn all this equipment in music and stuff. You know, you're in school, it is very, very strict in many ways. And, yeah, and yeah. even still in the classroom, be it music and be it more creative, it is still that school discipline issue yeah. almost, if you like. Um, so it, it, I think they'd get, have a much more relaxed attitude towards something like that on a, on a Saturday morning as opposed to it being this is in a lesson, this is what you must do. Do you like um, a full version of like um, Canon on the piano? Canon? I, I can play a few, um, a little bit after that, it's playing over. The idea behind the Saturday School is that it's meant to um, complement the curriculum. So we obviously don't want to intrude on the curriculum, we don't want to overlap what they're already doing in schools. And part of what this project has been about has been trying to find out what they don't or what they can't do in schools. They, I mean, what they want to do, they, they all want to be able to just play. They all want to be able to just be able to improvise. I don't, they don't necessarily understand the groundings that you need to have in order to be able to do such a skill as that. And, and um, very much theory work. I mean, when you're teaching in a class situation, you have to be very aware yeah. that you may have pupils who do read music and you do ha may have pupils that don't read music and you've got to pitch it incredibly right. But there are basic theory stuff that I think is an essential part of, of music as a whole anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So certainly things like that. Um, I instruments, recording. Uh, as, as much as we've, we've got equipment here, they don't know how you would set up a PA or how you would set up the microphones or what instruments need particular microphones and why they're, they're, they need those types of microphones. So actual physical, this is what you need in order to record this type of ensemble would be really, really beneficial. How is ska different from reggae? There we go, I'm really throwing you in the deep end. So you've got one style of music which is reggae, another style of music which is ska. That was ska. Um, anybody else apart from these two guys here? You know, <laughs> on the board today. Go on, yeah, please. Reggae's a bit slower. Good, yeah, reggae is a little bit slower. Can you play a little reggae group in G minor just to give them a bit of a feel? <laughs> going to happen after this, you guys on the 23rd of this month are going to be coming across to the atrium and spending some time um, with me, but mainly with, uh, with the guys here, and you're going to be doing some work in the recording studio, 
in the music technology suite, you're going to be doing some um, ensemble work, i.e. you're going to be trying to replicate what these guys are going to be doing in a minute. It's been a real wake-up call for me because I started off as a school teacher and it's, it's 15, 16 years since I taught in schools and I think um, the first thing that I realize is that it is such a different world and that is another subtext to this project that it enables both me and my students who've been involved in the project it gives us an opportunity to actually dip our toe into the world of a school teacher and it is a very different world to what it is as an academic. I think the structure of the day just before I put you across to some questions would probably get you in the rehearsal room straight away working on something like what these guys have been playing. So we'll put four bands together, we'll, we'll have four um, pieces of music, we'll then take those pieces of music into the recording studio. Quite how we're going to record four pieces of music, we'll have to think about that, we'll have to think about the logistics of that. But we'll go to the recording studio, do a bit there, and then we'll end up in the technology suite. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and look across the water. Some of the kids have just been so grateful um, to be given the opportunity to, to work with this equipment. Um, and as well as the school kids, I'd like to say that it's also been a, been a highlight working with my music students as well. I think it makes a difference, even if uh, you change, uh, like, no, I wouldn't say the lives, like, no, it's a bit too dramatic, you know, if you just change the, the way people think anyway, uh, only if, if it's only one or two, then uh, you feel like you've made a little bit of a difference. The, the, the main factor that I hope they get out of it is um, that there's no longer a, a boundary between school and higher education. Where my body's been and I've been charging to hair and the way you like to dress. Watch come on over. I think the kids has been the personal highlight, no question about it. Very good, very good.